Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm gonna grill some flat iron steaks that I got from Matador Meat and Wine. Uh, be sure to go to matadorprimesteak.com uh, to check out all their great products they have there. We're gonna be cooking this on the Fuego Element Grill. Uh, you guys, if you've seen any of my videos, you've seen this before, it's a great grill. So let's go ahead and get started on these steaks. All right, here's our steaks, guys. Uh, one of them is a little bit thinner than the other. Um, but we're just going to cook these up really quick on that grill because it gets super hot. I'm going to be using some um, roasted garlic infused olive oil. Put a little bit on both sides of this. I got that a little bit too much. Just smear this out some. We're going to be using bone sucking sauce, steak, seasoning, and rub. Great stuff here, guys. And we don't have to put it on real heavy because they are kind of thin but we just we want a nice nice layer on there get plenty of flavor all right our steaks are seasoned up we're going to go out to the grill and get it up to temp again this fuego grill gets really hot so we don't need it too hot um, to cook these steaks and we'll be cooking them really quick all right our grill's up to temp we're looking at close to 500 degrees there Let's get these steaks on the grill. This is our thin one right here. So we're gonna kinda really keep an eye on it. This is our thicker one. Most likely this is gonna be mine and probably some of my wife too, but the kids really like them well done. So we're gonna get these about a minute, two minutes and then we're gonna flip them over. Okay, it's been two minutes. I've already turned this one again. This one's so thin. So we're just gonna turn it on this side, kind of give it a little bit of a press so we can get some good grill marks in there. Two more minutes. We're gonna flip it over on the other side. All right, we are at the two minute mark. We're gonna flip these over this way. Getting some decent grill marks in there. Kind of flip this, mash it down really well. Also at this point, I like to put a little bit of salted butter on both sides. Let's start with this side first. All right, it's been about a minute and a half. Now we're gonna turn again on this side, press down. Put a little bit of butter on there. Close it up. And we'll be back another minute and a half. All right, minute and a half's up. Let's turn these over and see what we're looking like. Got some pretty good grill marks there. We're gonna base these one more time. Get them inside and let them rest. All right, here's our steak, guys. We're going to cut into it right quick. Let's get a couple of pieces. And kind of in the middle there, we're more of a medium in the middle. So it's cooked perfectly done as far as my taste is concerned. Yep, maybe a little bit close to medium rare in the middle. So let's give it a try right quick. My son Mason's with me, he's excited. All right, buddy, here we go. Very yummy. 
Very yummy. <laughs> mm. Super moist. The flavors are awesome. Lots of juice going on in there. Another simple recipe. Great tasting steak from Matador primesteak.com bone sucking sauce the steak seasoning is great and you can use any of that if you can find that roasted garlic infused uh, olive oil it really adds an extra level to it uh, as you can see my son he can't stop chewing he <laughs> he loves it guys we thank you so much be sure to check out both of these companies uh, you'll be glad you did thanks so much what are you gonna say mason can you say anything <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. God bless.